Hi. And they spend their time um, saying, saying, uh, I need to prove that I'm good enough. I need to prove that I'm good enough. So they manage, they manage their friendships in a funny way. They manage their, uh, their, their reputation in the community a funny way. So afraid to just drop in and be themselves um, because they, from day one, felt that they weren't good enough. The reason we're getting into this for you, Simon, is because you are good enough. You were not raised that way. You knew for the, from the time you were very young, I can see it perfectly, that you were worthy and deserving. So you don't have a very deep-seated go-to uh, mentality of not enough. You're just dealing with some heightened vibrations right now of lack and scarcity. Um, due to a couple different spots on your timeline, I see three to four, we're working on that right now, due to uh, certain combinations of the ancestry memory, we're working on that also now, okay? And so you actually have the strength and the stamina of worthy and deserving built within you in the spine, I can see it, because you were treated well. And that's really important to understand, wow, I was treated well. Also, you were given unconditional love when you were growing up. Your mom and your dad didn't make you perform a particular way in order to receive their love. So you have really beautiful, basic programming and qualities within yourself that were loved and nurtured that keep you on the, on the upper end, the higher end of the scale of abundance, okay? So let's do some more energy work. All right, I see some things are stuck in the throat. You're saying, I can't express this. I can't express this. We're going to open up some energies in the throat. Um, she's having a hard time saying, I can't really express what I'm feeling right now. We're going to release it right now. Okay, we're just going to open this some more. Release it. Let's see if I can point the camera to, I don't know if this will work. Let's try to, oh, it's so bright. Probably won't work. But I'm going to open up the throat, okay? Oof. All right, we're just going to have to stay here for a while. This is several generations back. So when we go into generation work, we end up with these loops. This is each generation. This is being able to articulate how you're feeling. She feels stress. It's being released. We're eight generations back right now. There we go. We just were able to release it. Good. All right, we're going to also look at some energy work in your spine along the neck. We have to open up the neck. Actually, I think I want to release um, the drawing of the picture for a while because we have a lot of work to do in the time we have. Let's release the neck vertebrae. Ooh, we're going to do that right now. Everybody watching, just give a nice big <sighs> exhale and a yes, 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 yes. And let's release everything that we're seeing here. There we go. All right. Oh, this is just the mentality of the, the cupboards being bare. We all have this in our ancestry somewhere, in our genetic makeup. So let's just, everybody who's listening, give it a nice big. Maybe you feel that actually cash and material goods are there, but you're feeling lonely. Where are my friends? My friends are not there. My family's not there. Damn it, my family's not there. So let's release all of that too. This, it doesn't matter which cupboards you're feeling are bare. It can be anything. I'm not good enough. Where are my friends? Where's my support? Where's my husband? Who knows what it is? Let's just open all this energy. There we go. Everybody's necks are being released right now. Good. And there's a little bit of stress and tension at the top of the neck, the bottom of the skull. Let's release that also. All right. Okay. So you're really opening up now. And I see these big like formations of how you were handling abundance, lack, and stress. They're just cracking off of you. These are programs, and they look like uh, they look like templates that are just cracking away and releasing now. So we've cleared you now from here to here. We now have to open up the clavicle and your collarbone, your chest area, and the upper back, especially I'm going to do that right now. Here, we'll just open it up. We, I'm not drawing a picture just because we need to work pretty quickly now. There we go. We're just now the energy is moving really fast behind the heart. Hold on, we're just gonna open up something here. We're gonna open up the, the back of the heart. Uh, okay, we're gonna open it up some more, okay. Okay, in the heart, behind the heart, commonly is stored judgment. When people talk about other people or they harshly judge other people, 
in your case, which is typical in this area, um, a lot of people do it to feel better about themselves in the moment. It's called one-upmanship. A lot of people are, are have woken up to the fact that they're doing that, but they're starting to. It's like, even if I can ever leave for a minute about how I'm feeling about myself and say something negative about someone else, it's just that minute of relief or release that it really hurts and damages the back of the heart and the vertebrae all along the back from about 12 inches above the heart to 12 inches below the heart. So that's what we're clearing right now. This greatly interrupts abundance. And we're talking about abundant flow. So we're gonna talk now about love. There's plenty and extra everywhere. We need to start with the general feeling of abundance and radiating that through your, your body. When we're finished opening your body to the, to the flow of abundance, period, then we can actually address um, money, cash, material goods, all that stuff. So let's release, Oof, relationships. Okay, we're still opening up your spine. I just saw a lot coming off the top of your head. And now we're gonna just do a lot of vertebrae work. Give a nice big <sighs> exhale and a yes, 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 yes mantra. Just keep giving us nice, big, deep sweeping exhales. We're opening up the back of the heart, lovely, okay. Okay, there's a little bit, There's a, this is classic, there's a little bit of stuck energy in the solar plexus. That's right where the rib cage meets, it's right where your sternum is. That's a person's will center. I will it to have a lovely life. I will it to be creative. I will it to be uh, healthy, to be a healthy person, to have a healthy family. All right, we're gonna open that up right now because the, the will center makes a mistake when it gets into this uh, vibration of being controlling, like my way or the highway. We're just gonna open that up. These are ancestry traits. We just release that. We're gonna finish releasing the rest of it. There we go. All right, this is working out beautifully, Simon. You're gonna love the difference. Now we're opening up a really important um, chakra interchange. This is between the heart and the solar plexus. Um, we need to have them almost overlapping and working and integrating and sharing energy because the heart holds all the desires of abundance and the solar plexus holds the will center. That's the ability to be fully in action in supporting your heart's desires. So we need to have those two showing up for each other every day, all day long. We're taking care of that right now. There we go, wow. So we're going across your back now. This is across your, your rib cage where um, the solar plexus and the heart meet. It'll be about equivalent to where your bra line would be across the back. We're gonna open that up, whoa, beautiful. You're gonna feel great today. You're going to love this. You can replay this as many times as you need to and enjoy the process. You will be able to hold the vibration of abundance in a much more powerful way, a much more steady way, so that more and more and more can come to you, which is gonna release the rest. Okay, this looks like it's painful and it's from mom's side of the family, let's release. Okay, this is just old stuff, it's depression era stuff. Um, and I'm seeing that the news has been triggering you, it's been triggering a lot of people, stop watching it. Uh, you know, I get it on the, I get on uh, line and I on my phone and I just check headlines in case something's going on. I need to run to my basement because there's bad weather or something. But other than that, don't read don't read it. Don't look at it. It's lowering your vibration and it's actually promoting ooh this vibration of scarcity. It's going right through that solar plexus and heart center, cutting off your ability to be fully in action in supporting your heart's desires, which is abundance. Everybody loves abundance, everybody, everybody, whether it's abundance of love or beauty or strength or power or um, some people want an abundance of chill factor. Some people want an abundance of um, popularity, fun, animals, nature, <laughs> whatever it is. Let's open it up across your back. Woof, okay, that just left. We just gave you really great, excellent advice on releasing the need to always look at, 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 at the news. You have actually a bit of an addiction right now to fear and, the, and that scarcity mentality is getting triggered, 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 triggered from some depression era stuff on mom's side as well as uh, you constantly watching or checking in with the news and politics, stay off of it. The truth is, is that we are made from love. We come from love. We are here to love. When someone steps on our toes and believe me, there are people in this world that step on your toes you give them a good shove off your toes and say, back off. You know, this is my space. This is my family. 
this is what I'm doing. That's not an unloving thing to do. That's a very loving thing to do because you're practicing boundaries, okay? So if there's something in your immediate sphere of influence and someone's stepping on you, yes, you push them off and say, I need a boundary here, back off. This doesn't, this doesn't work for me here. This isn't allowed here. This, my household, my family doesn't allow this. That's fair game. But if you're constantly looking at the news, something that's way outside of your sphere of influence, and you're allowing it to trigger scarcity all the time, it's like this little beat of a drum that's going through your vibration right now, and you keep looking at it, looking at it again, you can't get rid of it, and it will absolutely affect all that you're creating in your life. It will squeeze and pinch you off from the abundant flow that you're meant to have. Okay, so when it comes to politics and news, remember we're all here made of love. We come from love. We're here to promote love. When someone's in your immediate sphere of influence, um, damaging that in any way, then you draw a boundary, you push them off of you. If it's something uh, further outside of you, like out in the world, leave it alone. Send it love when you can, but primarily keep promoting a love atmosphere within your own sphere of influence. I mean, yourself, your body, your household, your immediate surroundings, your family, friendships that you're in touch with. Anything outside of that, let them go. There's a reason they're not closer in. So I, I, I feel that there's a something going on between you and something outside of yourself. Let's just open it up for you now. Okay. Ooh, all right. Looks like some type of, okay, let's just release it now. Uh, we just took it up. There's a there's some type of a family disagreement that's I'm releasing right now. Okay. And now we're actually um, infusing both the heart and the solar plexus with the energy infusement of I am enough. And not only am I enough, I am plenty and extra. Okay, that's happening beautifully right now. Big exhale and a yes, 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 I am plenty and extra. Okay, now we're able to open even more energy and we're gonna to have to move to our, our final and last 15 minute increment because we're moving right along and we're gonna jump right into the waistline and lower and then we're gonna integrate everything and be done. So I'll see you in one second, okay?